Hi traders, good to see you again. Uh, dollar index, got a hammer with a gap to the 8 and extreme RSI. We had weak GDP in the US today, but good home sales. I think this may want to at least come back to the 8. So just watch your stops on any uh, dollar pairs and um, manage it. But uh, it's not to say the pound is going to come off. But just to warn you that uh, we could see some short term strength in the dollar. Markets are not shut yet, another 50 minutes till they shut. Uh, but another nice close, very, very bullish. Look at that weekly, really nice clean weekly so far. Oil, sideways, really struggling at these highs. I thought we were going to see a sell off. Uh, every time it drops down, it gets bought again. Very hesitant bar up there, but it's just not setting off all attempts. If we break up, then I would buy a pullback to that level and trade it like so. Uh, Coco, wow, that's what I've been waiting for. A uh, really decisive, powerful move up through there. I want to buy a pullback to 32.24. Okay. A really nice uh, series of higher lows here, and suddenly, bang, it's gone. So let's try and get uh, positioned in cocoa. Hammer gap to the eight on the sugar, and we're at the weekly 50 MA. I like the sugar. I am a buyer of sugar here. Like that hammer. I think that could now move up and break out of that. Sugar and cocoa are great. My gold trade is just storming away. Just managed it two stops back. That was my entry down there at 14.53, 55 sorry. Uh, looking to see if I get 15.55 <coughs> on um, the gold. Stocks. Uh, this is on our watch list. This is on our tradable list, I should say. That is a very nice wage breakout with higher lows. I would sit in that. We have got high RSI now, but I would just sit in that and see how far that can get you because that's closed above resistance. Sorry, it's not closed above resistance. It's, it's a, uh, still got 45 minutes to go, sorry. Uh, but if we close above 36.10, that would be a very nice close. And has the fact it's broken up here and made a new high means it's got great potential. And that potential, I would suggest, is... I think that's too conservative. I, I would put that, I would look for 37, 38 on that one. I think a you know, push through these levels and that could, over a period of time, wind up to 37, to 38. That was O, by the way, reality income. Uh, Hero, not closed yet, but looking good. I like this one, like the weekly. Uh, expecting this one to get above six and a half. Uh, WTI is consolidating, nice move. And what was the other one we're looking at? ONNN. Uh, I like it. It's just waiting for the ATMA to come across through the 50MA. So nice weekly, I will just sit tight in that ONN, keep your stop below the 50 MA, below the 10, or even below the 9.9, .9, and see if that one can break up, that's looking good. Forex, this is the Aussie New Zealand dollar, we have got to get a position in this one. <coughs> um, looking for a pullback to 135.18, 135.18, so I'm looking for a 100 point drop on this, if I don't get it, then I'll leave it. I'm not going to chase that market. 
That's the Aussie New Zealand dollar. Aussie Swiss and long this already intraday. Looking to see if that can break up and get up to parity. It's 95.23 here. Um, if you want to get involved in this one, you need a big stop. You're going to pull back to the 95 area, just above 95, but you're going to have to have a stop right down there at 93.60. Uh, you could trade it on the pullback and just stick your stop below the 50 MA if you choose. Uh, I would go below 94.65 uh, still gives you a good probability that 50 can hold obviously it's a lower probability than a 2 bar a 2 bar stop that's Aussie Swissy you can see possible evidence of reversal in the dollar index this is the Aussie US with a little bit of a shooting star up there massive gap to the 8 and RSI so just be careful of these dollar pairs. So look at the pound while we're at it. Same thing. That's a big shooting star. Gap to the eight. High RSI, not extreme. And we are at weekly resistance. Look at that. So be careful on that pound. If you're long, you might want to ramp your stop up. Let's look at the euro. Same story very extended, gap to the 8, high RSI, it could still hold nothing, it could just consolidate, move sideways, not to say it's going to sell off it's very bullish but just be careful uh, there is, if you're a counter trend trader, that is a short setup so that's the issue you've got that may just get people out if we break down below 147.81 uh, if you want to short it it's a, it, to me it's a good counter trend trade setup you could go the stop's got to be 149 just over 149 and entry has got to be a break of 147.75 and see if we can get down to 144.68 down to the 20 and possibly even down to the 50 okay uh, Euro pound slow mover holding that's a new high but not very convincing Euro yen uh, I, I took the pull back so I am long this Euro yen uh, it's holding above this area here may get a retest of the 8 120.06 but uh, still expecting this to move to the upside it's a very nice weekly bar, I like the weekly on the euro yen US dollar singy, US dollar Singapore, I like it I think that is a lovely hammer with a gap to the 8 uh, I think that is worth a counter trend trade it's a massively oversold. It's been selling off for a long, long time. For it's been selling off for a whole 12 months. I think that is due a pullback, a significant pullback. What a pullback that is worth trading. And thank you to the member who pointed us to this direction. So I would take a break of 120. To 95, and I would have a stop at 122.45. Pretty close stop, and I want to see if we can get up to 125 on that one. <coughs> uh, Swiss yen, nothing. Mm, nope, not touching that. Pound cat. Yeah, I had a feeling this pound cat was going to come up. Nice bottoming pattern here. Higher lows, keep seeing this, don't we? Higher lows that may break out. I wouldn't swing trade it, uh, but that is interesting. Your dollar cat hammer gap to the eight, wouldn't trade it. I would much prefer that US dollar singy. So I missed the Aussie cad. Wow, that's a good one. 
What a chart. Look at that. Once it broke that resistance, it came back to retest it and then moved up. So that retest down there at 101.89, great place to get long. Watch out for that. That's a lovely chart. Look at the Euro pairs. Euro Aussie sideways, Euro New Zealand, a really nice swing trade. So Aussie New Zealand and the Euro New Zealand are in play. You might, is that better? Um, it's just as good, just as good. A lot of resistance up there. I think that this Euro New Zealand is great for a pullback. I think I prefer this one. I think the New Ze I would suggest the New Zealand dollar is going to be weaker than the Aussie dollar. Uh, I would prefer this to the Aussie New Zealand. So I should have looked at this before, shouldn't I? If I can get a pullback to 184.23, adjust it for the spread then I would want to get long this with a stop down here. So it's come through the 50%. It's got that fib resistance up there. If you want to play safer, wait till it breaks up and buy a pullback. But liking the uh, Euro New Zealand. Okay, that's all I've got for you. Have a if you're if you're a Brit, then have a really good four-day uh, weekend. If you're not a Brit, I still hope you have a really good time, and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.